What's going on pack, it's Quacky here and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since the last upload and I do want to apologize, I've been really busy with handling Verb and there's a lot of cool things happening with Verb and the Horizon so stay tuned for that. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys arguably the best CSS that you can currently use in Krunker. Now before the video does start, if you guys do enjoy the video, then let me know by dropping a like as well as subscribing with those notifications on so you guys never miss an upload. Now from my own testing, this CSS is compatible with any Chrome based browser, the official client, and the Steam client. Yes, you heard me right, the Steam client. If you guys don't know, Krunker is now on Steam. If you guys want to download it, I'll have a link to it down below. Be sure to download, and if you guys do enjoy the game, then be sure to leave a good review as it helps out Krunker. Now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the CSS, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So on my screen now, we have the normal CSS that you would normally see when you open up the game. And this is what the CSS looks like now. If you guys couldn't tell by now, this is a Verbs official CSS. This CSS is packed with features and quality of life changes that I think you guys will find handy. Alrighty now, let's go ahead and dive into the main menu part of the CSS. I'm going to go from left to right here, but the first thing you guys may notice off the bat is that the font's been changed. Uh, the font is now Poppins, which is quite a popular font among CSS makers in the Krunker community. Looking at the top left here at Featured Creators and Streaming Now, if you just hover over the text, it will actually show you who's all live. So it kind of just hides it there and saves some space. If you look at the bottom left here, the chat's been changed a little bit. As well as the KPD button is now next to the chat, so if you click on the verb logo, it'll bring up the KPD. And now, if you may notice, the main Krunker logo has been replaced with the animated verb logo. And if you guys are wondering, well, who made the CSS? The CSS was made by Tay. Tay is a very talented CSS maker in the Krunker community. I highly recommend Tay. If you guys are interested, I will have Tay's website in the description down below. Also, the spectate button's been changed a little bit, so if you click on it, it'll tell you when you're spectating and when you're not spectating. Also, the buttons here at the bottom where the menu buttons are have been changed to be just the text. And then once you hover over them, they will be highlighted in purple. And at the bottom right here, if you hover over the Discord link, you guys will see the Advertise button, Contact button, and Terms button. And for the character customization option, you may no longer see the customization button, but if you click anywhere on the model, it'll bring up the customized menu for you. And the last thing is at the top right here, if you click on the server, it'll bring up the server browser as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive into the end game HUD part of the CSS. So we're gonna host a game here on our own on Little Town. Select free for all. So I'll go on just Hunter. And you also may notice that the theme for the buttons are kind of like the power on off switch which I think was really cool and a really neat addition. So we're going to go ahead and start up a server here. And the first thing you guys may notice is that it's actually Cerno's layout. So Cerno's layout normally is that you'd have the health on the left here where the 60 is and to the right where the purple 3 is that's your ammo. At the bottom you have the timer and below that is your streak. Also, another cool thing you may notice is that the top right here of the leaderboard, it's been changed quite a bit, so there's no more background there. And there's also a nice little purple underline there on the leaderboard text, which I think was a really cool addition. And also at the bottom right, you may notice that whenever I switch my weapons, it only shows the weapon that I currently have equipped which I think was a really neat feature and also has that nice little white to purple grading on it as well. All right, so that's the main CSS part of the way. Let's go ahead and look at the social CSS. So here we are with the social CSS part of the verb CSS pack. And this was made by yours truly. This kind of follows the same theme that we have with the menus in the main CSS with the semi-transparent black background and purple glow here with the blobs. And as well as a purple accents here on some of the buttons. And if we go ahead and go to the market here, the market card's been adjusted to be a bit lighter to kind of complement the very background. And if we search up a player, for example, the stats here have been changed a little bit. So we kind of have the white text as well as the light purple here on the XP bar and the purple glow going all around the stats. That's going to do it for the social CSS part. All right, now if you guys want to download the CSS for yourselves, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get those files and how to implement them into your browser or into the Krunker client. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and join the Verb Discord server. I'll have a link for it in the description or I'll have a link on screen right about now. Alternatively, you can just type in Verb here on join a server and click join server. 
Once you guys join the server, we have a little welcome screen here. You can click out of that. You'll have to read this channel and server rules, but once you guys read through those, just go ahead and go to the verify channel here. Just type in exclamation mark verify like this. Once you've done that, you'll have access to the rest of the server and the files will be in the announcements channel in the server. I'll also have it in the pinned messages. Uh, the files aren't here at the moment, but once this video is uploaded, you should see the files here. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to add the CSS to first your browser and then the official and Steam client. It's important that if you're going to add this to the Steam client that you learn how to add it to the official client as well. I'll tell you guys a bit later in the video. All right, so starting off, I'm going to show you guys how to implement the CSS into any Chromium based browser. So go ahead and open up the Chromium based browser of your choice. I'm using Microsoft Edge personally. Go ahead and navigate to your extensions page. And then here, make sure that you have developer mode enabled, which will be in the bottom corner here usually. Make sure that's checked. Go ahead and then get that verb CSS video dot zip that will be in the Discord server and drag it right into your extensions page, just like this. It should say Crunker.io resource swapper. And then just go ahead and load up Crunker on your browser. And as you can see, the verb CSS has been successfully implemented into the browser. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to implement this CSS into the official client. And this is important because Steam actually also pulls the CSS from the official client. So first thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and take that same verb CSS video zip and just open it up and just have the files ready. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and navigate to your documents folder. And you should see a Kunga resource swapper folder. If you don't, search for Kunga resource swapper on this PC and you should find it. Once you guys find the folder, go ahead and open that up. You guys won't have all these files, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them now. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and pull up that verb CSS video zip, and once you open it, you should see these files here. All I want you guys to do is just take these files and just drag them all into here. And then if we open up our Crunker client, the official client that is, let that load up. As you can see, the verb CSS is now in the official client. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to add this to the Steam client. Now, it's a little bit trickier because you have to fish through the files a little bit more, but it is definitely manageable. So I want you guys to go ahead and navigate to where you downloaded Crunker on Steam. For me personally, it's in my C file, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Crunker. Now in here, if you guys are able to manage and get over here, click on resources. Now, you're going to see an app folder here already. It might be called something else like app.asar. And I want you guys to go ahead and then download the app zip that's in the verb discord. I want you guys to open up the app zip and you guys will see an app folder here. I want you guys to go ahead and delete the current app folder that's on the Steam client. And then drag the one that's from the zip file here into the Steam client here. And it might take a little bit. But as you can see, we, we successfully dragged that over. And now if we open up the Crunker Steam client, and you can tell that it's Steam with the loading animation. Give a little bit of the load. And as you can see, we now have the verb CSS unrestricted on the Steam client. Now, if you guys are wondering, can I use any CSS with this new Steam method? You can. Again, special thank you for Ando for helping me out with this. If you guys are still confused with the Steam guide, there is a Google Doc in the description down below which you guys can look at if you guys need help with the Steam process. But if you guys want to use any CSS with Steam, all you have to do is go to Resources, App, and then CSS. Keep the loading CSS there and replace the main custom and social custom with your own CSS. And then you also have to go into your Documents your Crunker resource and also replace the CSS files with your official client as well. So make sure that both CSS files are the same for both official client and for Steam. I really hope this helped guys. Uh, Tay did put a lot of effort into the CSS and I want to give another special shout out to Ando for really helping me with the Steam CSS. If it wasn't for Ando, I don't think this video would even be possible. So again, special thank you to him. Also, if you guys would be interested in a full mod of this actually with the CSS and sounds and textures, let me know by dropping a like and commenting down below if you guys would like to see that in the near future. Also, if there's any bugs that you guys see with the CSS, let me know in the comments down below as well. And I'll try and release some new updates here and there with fixes with the CSS. But anywho, this has been Quacky, and I will see you all in the next one.